Greeting, star nations of the 144, all celestial beings in all realms and timelines. Thank you for joining us today on this most auspicious day of the final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one there we have it we made it through another moment of going through and through and through the chaos of the 3d matrix transformation anchoring deep into the grid into the ley lines we are here now today we had another spike some white outlines and a pulsing blast of energy on the schumann charts 58 hertz we also had multiple earthquakes again around the Ring of Fire 17 hours ago, 5.0 in Papua New Guinea, 3.1 in Idaho, Fiji 4.9, British Virgin Islands 3.7, Dominican Republic 3.6 with the Atlantean energies rising up, waking up multiple earthquakes again in Puerto Rico. The Philippines, Greece had a 4.3, and Iran a 5.0. So there's several trinities across the grids from the Pacific up through the Middle East and into Bulgaria, 4.5, and Crete, the sacred Greek island. And with this expansion of energy, we're feeling this through our vessel again today. Some might be feeling they're like walking in between worlds. We are all walking parallel timelines now we are treading in the middle in between two earths 5d 3d and 4d in the middle now it's up to us to choose which side we are focusing our awareness on our perception it takes effort to bring our awareness into the timeline of highest potential and transformation and as we tap into the zero point energies and we have reached the precipice of the sacred mountain of the ascension it is time to leap fully into the abyss into the void fully conscious fully awake fully aware to activate our most highest creative potential today's first transmission from octavia vasile challenge from the 90 pleiadian collective the link between timelines and your internal reality we greet you with love and light and please remember that we always honor your ways Today we want to bring more clarity upon what we mean when we refer to your internal reality. You were conditioned to always relate to an outside reality and to strongly believe in it, but by doing so you have missed the most important link, that between your inner world and your perceived reality. We always invite you to keep your mind empty and to look for everything inside, because this is where you can find all the stored data. There is also a more important reason. As you discover now the existence of different timelines and parallel universes, you become aware that being on a certain timeline does not allow one to know too much of what is happening on the other timelines. This would be true if there would be no collective consciousness that creates the link between all existence. Therefore, when your existence, the way you know it, is running on a specific timeline, you have access to all other timelines, mostly because there is a great qu connection between past, present, and the future. This relation creates linear time, but perceiving time being linear is only one way of perceiving change, which is not the truth. From a linear time perspective, you are not able to look into the future, and maybe you don't even feel a deep connection with your past and future, and that's just fine. We let you know, and if you wish to, you can adopt our vision that time is now, therefore all past, present, and future happen right now, and you have access to all that was created in the past or in the future. This doesn't mean that there is only one certain future. It means that there are different possible timelines, and that some of them have more chances to occur than others. Of course, you can imagine that the chance for you to choose a timeline in which you actually and physically fly in this life would have fewer chances to happen because your belief system does not allow that yet. Therefore, there are many possibilities and you have a connection with all possible future selves. We invite you to ask for guidance so you choose the best timeline for yourself. And the best timeline would be that which brings more peace and love into the world 
and there is a great need for this. Now we go back to your internal reality and will enhance its importance by bringing light upon it. And there are many timelines and many identities that have been created every time when you relate to events in your outside world. Believing that they are true, you actually enhance them. You make them grow by giving them your attention. Then you give them even more credit without knowing that there are all stories created by your minds. This happens because you have missed the main link, that of your internal reality and the external world. That's why we always invite you to look deep inside and to notice the process of creation, how your thoughts and emotions create the reality. Instead of turning your attention towards external events and believing even more, we kindly ask you to see first how these events are being created. There is no ultimate truth. There are no facts besides the truth that is in place for a specific timeline, while another timeline might look very different. That's why there is no one history, but there are many, which were created because of the existence of different timelines. Take a deep breath and stop for a moment. Now you might have noticed that events in your own history are sometimes being perceived very differently, and not everyone agrees upon the same version. This happens because there is no single version to relate to, but there were many possibilities and each of them formed a different timeline. Now you decide where you want to place yourself. That's why we highly advise you not to tap into any kind of not desirable agenda, because you are actually helping the ones who create it right now to develop it more, and you choose your own timeline to be the same as theirs. Stay in your inner silence and look from there. You will notice that you have the power to create exactly what you want and there is no need to choose timelines that you do not resonate with. Please choose those that are aligned with the vibration of peace and love. Please breathe deeply and allow this information to make space inside your being. We invite you to connect deeper with your inner reality and to create a link between this and what you see in your outside reality. Observe how you are continuously creating, even if you do so with awareness or not. Tap into the collective consciousness and connect with all the existing timelines. Allow yourself to see you functioning in parallel universes and to bring that which is of most use back to your current existence, the one that you are aware of. Observe the link between the past, present, and future and bring them all into the now so you can have access to any kind of information that your future selves can provide for you. We are here to guide you to choose the best timeline, that which fits the earth's needs. Let it be that of love and peace and all that which is in harmony with these vibrations. We are thrilled to offer you this support. Blessings from Octavia Vasile and the Ninth Dimensional Pleiadian Collective. Now the image in the video today is a light code that was taken from facebook.com forward slash lyron.starcy.888 and it is from Walter W. Boyd, B-O-Y-D. And the encoding in this image is come home to your source light code activation. Feel into this image. You will know its nature without words. Come home to yourself. Come home to yourself. Come home to self. Come home to source. Come home. Come home. To use, breathe, and feel the energy of the image as this is the key secret to the activation. Take a gentle, calming breath to your heart. Hold for as long as you are comfortably able, and with your out-breath, gently feel your feet on the ground. Continue until you intuitively feel you have received what you need. From Anrita Melchizedek, Beloved Hearts, Welcome to May Day, also called the Festival of Beltane, which celebrates a return to outdoor gatherings love for nature and the warmth and joy added to our lives through the energy of the sun and our heartfelt connection to one another beltane is also a time to birth new projects as we deepen into new ambassadorial and service roles upon the sacred earth may first is also celebrated by the planetary spiritual hierarchy as saint germain's ascension day during this time the beautiful violet flame of abundance holding the perfect balance of the threefold flame of power, love, and wisdom, floods the sacred earth, illuminating the hearts and minds of all awakened souls, and assists in transmuting misqualified energies and human miscreations. Another powerful focus of the violet flame is that of creative manifestation and prosperity consciousness. 
as well as the ability to assist us to experience a deepening sense of our soul purpose and a deepening sense of the magic of life. So let's breathe into that as we come together as one heart, one love, and one unified field of light. We now experience the violet flame of God's infinite abundance activate around the sacred earth and around our energy fields and bodies as we center ourselves through the threefold flame of power love and wisdom we breathe deeply into our body expanding our lower abdomen as we breathe in and contracting our lower abdomen as we breathe out we breathe in love abundance and manifestation we breathe out love abundance and manifestation we breathe in love abundance and manifestation we breathe out love abundance and manifestation we are open to receiving and giving recognizing that there is an equal balance to be found in receiving and giving the law of abundance is abiding principle within the universal laws and we draw to us this unlimited infinite source of creative energy available within everything the sea of joy and creativity of passion and love of manifestation and of unity consciousness ignites at this moment for all awakened souls and for all life upon the sacred earth open to receiving the flow of god's infinite abundance through and from the patterns of perfection we are supported by the universe and as we deepen into the flow of this divine support we deepen into the flow of service we magnetize and bring into our realities all that i need as manifesting co-creators to the divine through our thoughts of unity and community and through our feelings of passion and joy we focus on what it is that we desire to co-create through the service in love we draw to us what we need to bring about the greatest flow of abundance for all life upon the sacred earth we realize that we have been given all that we need to experience ourselves as manifesting co-creators to the divine particularly in this cosmic pause of the forward evolution of humanity and that all lack of within our lives is part of our own self-created realities we now feel and sense this beautiful violet flame of god's infinite patterns of perfection anchor and activate within our loving hearts and now through each one of our chakras clearing out lack of and perceiving limitations through every subatomic particle of our beingness purging clearing releasing embracing aligning and we move ever deeper into the full flow of abundance within our lives as we continue to breathe deep into our bodies breathing in love abundance and manifestation and breathing out love abundance and manifestation we now activate our heart chakras through the energy of the golden sun we honor the time of beltane and our connection to nature and mother earth and we now spiral this golden sun through each one of our chakras and subatomic particles deepening into solar christ consciousness deepening into abundance deepening into alignment with mother father god while honoring sacred gaia and our collective journey of forward evolution we now feel this deepening connection with one another through the heartbeat of mother earth through the love of mother father god through the light of our beloved i am presence as we take a moment now to feel and sense this love of creation we deepen into the knowing that we are abundant blessed beings of light flames of divinity and manifesting co-creators able to magnetize and manifest and bring into our reality all that we need at any given moment in this flow of universal abundance and so it is and so it is we breathe in love abundance and manifestation we breathe out love abundance and manifestation as we move ever deeper into the infinite timeless now moment we know that we have all the time that we need to create our hearts dreaming and passion with joy and love while generating the flow of abundance with our lives and assisting in the empowerment of all life upon the sacred earth all is well all is well i love you anrita melchizedek and from bishop devi grace and the divine union academy foundation happy may day may first sacred beltane the beltane twin tree of love queen gaia and king green man heralding the powerful base seventy two spheres may is gaelic me beltane for the annual may day bonfire 
Velo Tepnia, also known as the Maypoles Festival of Bright Fire, that's held on the first, halfway between the spring equinox and the summer solstice, are your rich, regal, and royal earthen Beltane altars prepared and fully ready to receive your whole self on May's Eve, while Purgis Night love light flames from your woven tree of flowing colored ribbons in erotic oneness it's well worth the plunge to dive deep into your own nectars and cultivate your soul's amrita with our planet's entire beltane destiny as a global great rite yes is the this is the special ceremonial night of the may queen bride's greenwood marriage where the green man may king wins her fair hand and their beloved union is consummated with gaia's pregnancy as the heros gamos of their divine child it's the great tantric wedding of the planetary lovers as an ancient reenactment of the heavenly hand fasting between our mother goddess and her celestial consort father god as this alchemical sacred rite is a brilliant and magical moment and the wheel of the year for multidimensional sensuality, mythic sexuality, legendary passion, shamanic fertility, and verdant nuptials for our green lord and lady inside of their emerald glass grail. The ancient green man, Robin Hood folklore of rich woodlands, symbolizes the universal cycle of life, death, and rebirth. This code of godhood is within the Christed male and its relationship with the transcendent life force of our goddess, Maid Marian, Shepherdesser, Queen of Heaven, our Christa, female expression of embodied divinity. He's an enlightened horn guardian who heralds Gaia's springtime of resurrection after a long cold and dark winter for the miraculous renewal of our blue jewels lush treescape and vibrant vegetation of renewed life his historically this guy and jack in the green earth matrimony has been widely observed throughout ireland scotland and the isle of man in irish the name is latha boudet beltane in scottish gaelic lab beltane in wales as galan may the isle of man as shendo boldin and manx gaelic la boltin or boldin it's one of the four archaic seasonal festivals similar to the welsh calan mai thus beltane is in some of the earliest irish literature and is associated with the important events in irish mythology also known as ketchamhain first of summer did my best with that seeing i don't speak gaelic but you get it today from sri and kara may 2020 ascension energy forecast it is a gift of love when you offer yourself effortless flow remember you are here to experience everything without limitation from archangel zadkiel may 2020 visionary transformation through timeline adaptation a month of mastery choice may is the return of the mystical magi that steadfastly honored and celebrated the mastery of all beings these ascended beings are the cosmic ancestors of the biblical essene also known as the cosmic ascena they were present at all births during the time of the consecration of gaia these sacred times were celebrated as sacred and held the highest outcome for the divine creation that was unfolding to support our journey through density as birth cycles were initiated to fully illuminate the confluence of remembrance all who chose the earthly experience were assured of mastery attainment through the gift of divine true nourishment as archangel zadkiel shares in the lesson of light number four long ago all who chose to walk here held the land of this planet sacred it was consecrated to be the confluence of remembrance which is why so many are called to be here as you relax and experience the energy of all that is around you gift yourself and feel the abundance as you also feel the path of nourishment for what is the source of true nourishment nourishment is what ignites the soul to awaken sustain enliven and bring you back to your divine nature may carries the energy of expansion and contraction it is a month that through its mere presence ignites an energy that has been long buried on this planet and offers those who choose to stay focused the awareness of their mastery presence the experience of their creation manifested and the choice to continue through expansion or contraction 
the energy that is here now is a restoration and affirmation that the April effect of restoring balance is indeed coming forward. How you choose to embrace this revelation will directly affect the impact of the expansion and contraction energy that is abundant and filled with infinite potential. The mystical magi would attend births and offer the ascended numerology of the master who had just incarnated so that it was assured the journey through form would arrive once more into full mastery presence while in form. When the Council of Nicaea and other dogmatic traditions of the time called forward the need to bury the mystical traditions, in combination with the burning of the Library of Alexandria, the mystical magi were effectively buried, and the assurance of mastery was then shifted to those who chose to become masters through conscious connection. Yes, we are all experiencing extraordinary manifestations of this worldly journey, and the moment at hand is inviting you to thrive. We love you and honor you with all our hearts. Shri and Kara from SriAnkara.com. Today from the Zulkin Times, Kin 33, Red Resonant Skywalker. The number seven is called Resonant, and it represents the energy of channeling. The seventh day is right in the middle of the wave spell. Time to ponder on how to proceed and a time to take stock of how this journey is going. The blue hand wave spell is about accomplishment and healing, also putting your hands to good use. If you have not yet succeeded in accomplishing your goals, use your intuition today to steer yourself on the right course. Today is Red Skywalker and keywords associated with it are explore, space, and wakefulness. This is a great combination of day and number. Red Skywalker is an energy that is full of fun, adventure, curiosity, and courage. Skywalker encourages us to take a step in a new and exciting direction. If you have not achieved your goals thus far, Skywalker can show you a different way of thinking. As it is a resonant day, Skywalker can show you that thinking differently can open up your third eye. It's an adventure in psychic awareness. From Christina Papagiorgio, Red, Resonant Skywalker, Kin 33, 1 May 2020, Attuning to Expansion, 152020 equal 154 equal 10 equal 1, 1 New Beginnings, Leader, 10 Authority, Power, Manifestation, 5 Freedom, Change, Transformation, 4 Form, Structure, Foundation, Kin 33, Ascended, Master Frequency, 33 equals 6, Heaven, Christ, Harmony, a powerful destiny day with the capacity for great changes, cosmic expansive energies. Welcome to May. We have now entered the month of May, which has a 5 freedom code for our planetary liberation. Expect more great changes and progress to rapidly unfold. The 5 monthly code and the 4 year code make a 9 frequency, which denotes endings, closing an old cycle, and the focus is on divine service, compassion, and destiny. All aligning with Vesic, the great festival of light, celebrating Buddha's wisdom and enlightenment. Day 7 in the Blue Hand Wave Spell inspires us to channel healing knowledge from expanded, multidimensional sources. Blue Hand is tribe number 7, and we have reached the 7th day in this wave spell, giving us double the magical power to access and accomplish great healing. Tone of Creation, Resonant, Tone 7 in the Emotional Realm, Action Inspires, Power Channel, Essence Attunement. The Resonant Tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel these magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. So it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At Tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us, we can inspire others to do the same. Today is a potent day to allow the awakening of our raw and primal emotions to feel the beauty, harmony, and expansion of space within and surrounding us. 
Today's question is how can I attune to the higher frequencies, allowing the pure life force to express through me in a raw and unbridled manner, awakening my sense of adventure to inspire others, divine blessings for your divine attunement to the pure primal creation energies of the cosmos. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, from It's a Dragon from Tortuga1320.com, Master Kin 33, Volum Votan and Balonik, the resonant channel of the New Time Prophecy. Kin 33, Red Resonant Skywalker, is always an opportunity to remember Volum Votan, Kin 11, and Balonik, Kin 22, equaling Kin 33, the resonant 7, channel of prophecy 13 embodied by the galactic messengers of the new time who brought the codes by which many of us live our lives today in Lakek. In classic numerology, the enigmatic number three is referred to as a master teacher and is associated with spiritual evolution of humankind. The other two master numbers are 11, which is related to vision, and 22, which refers to vision with action. In numerology, these three master numbers are the only multi-digit numbers that don't get reduced or simplified. They are, create what is known as the Triangle of Enlightenment, where 11 and 22 sit at the base of the triangle and 33 sits at the top. 11 plus 22 equals 33. For the Dream Spell Initiates, the revelation of number 33 constitutes a higher dimensional teaching. The divine synchronization between the incarnations of the dream spell progenitors predestined them to embody the master numbers 11, 22, and 33 in the dream spell Kant. In this way, Volum Votan and Balonik represent the archetypal mother and father of the multidimensional realm of dream spell and also the master teachers behind the spiritual evolution of humankind through the 1320 frequency of natural time. Kin 33 also contains the power of seven, a relevant legacy of the prophetic ministry of Jose and Loidin, which is fully inscribed in the Zolkin through their 33 kin. Exactly, Kin 33 marks the center, resonant chamber, tone seven, of the hand wave spell. Six plus one plus six equal thirteen. Therefore, the power of seven rules all the galactic tones of its oracle. 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Furthermore, Kin 33 is coded 7.7, .7, wave spell of seal 7, tone 7, and also 3.7, wave spell 3, tone 7. Then 3 times 7 equals 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals a triple 7 equal 21. This is from Tortuga1320.com. Kin 33, Red Resonant Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to explore. Inspiring wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of life force. And as we focus and bring into our awareness the full power of our life force, we must guide that energy to work with the infinite potential of Creator Source to manifest the new earth through our consciousness, through our perception, and through our awareness. No matter what transpires externally, outside your body and mind, let go of all we experience and tap into the Magi within. Let us know in the comments below, beloved beings of light, what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe. Also in the link below the description is a link to our website with today's transmission transcribed. And you can visit us at primedisclosure.com. We have all transmissions transcribed on this blog. We have over a thousand now. So have a beautiful and blessed Beltane ceremony as we enter this month of May where all energy springs forth into light, into life, manifesting our heart's delight into this field of infinite potential. Make it the best day ever. I love you all. Namaste.